Bologna ist die Stadt, die der bekanntesten europäischen Hochschulreform ihren Namen gegeben hat. Doch schon viel länger, ungefähr 1000 Jahre, ist Bologna die europäische Bildungshauptstadt. 1088 wurde hier die heute älteste europäische Universität gegründet. Schon damals strömten Studenten aus ganz Europa hierher, um zu studieren. Doch Europa kann sich nicht auf Vergangenem ausruhen. Bildung ist die Ressource der Zukunft. Europa muss hier gemeinsam zum Spitzenreiter werden. I have a friend, a close friend, who finished uh, his uh, bachelor's degree uh, in communication. And for about one year and a half, maybe more, he was part of this uh, non-in-training, non-in-employment uh, group of people. Uh, basically, he didn't know what to do with his life. He was really demotivated. Until one day, uh, he was uh, invited to check the European Voluntary Service, as it was called before, and he checked it. And he went for one year to Italy uh, to work as a volunteer at a local radio station, so in his field in communication. Uh, he was not necessarily hosting the shows, but uh, he was doing a lot of things at this radio station, learning at the same time the Italian language. When he came back, not only got a job, a very nice job, he also got a job that is about managing the segment of that company in Italy, because they were in Italian. So this is a very, very clear example of how volunteering abroad, using this type of program, even if you are in higher education, can be transformative for your life. What the Erasmus Plus program is really managing to achieve is connecting people, connecting Europeans, and, and making sure that all of us, especially those with, uh, with this kind of age now that have grown up within the EU, feel that besides being German, besides being Portuguese, they are also Europeans. You have people that went abroad for a semester, for a year, uh, maybe in higher education, maybe in the youth fields, maybe in the vocational training field as well, doesn't matter. They went abroad and now they have this spirit inside of them. They have this uh, broader understanding of what Europe means. And when they come back, we do nothing with them. It's just a, a waste of an opportunity that we have right there in front of us. Capitalizing on the experiences people got and making sure that when they come back, they will share this experience with their local communities. We'll bring them to elderly centers, to kindergartens, to, to schools, and make sure that they simply share what they got. Because by sharing what they got, I'm very sure that they will make others understand that at the end of the day, Europe is nothing more than, than a community of different identities. Wir wollen die europäische Bildungsgeschichte weiterschreiben. Deswegen fordern wir eine neue Grundfreiheit, die Bildungsfreizügigkeit. Das bedeutet für uns aber auch, dass Europa nicht nur die Bildungsunion der Studenten bleibt, sondern auch für Schüler und Azubis attraktiv wird. Alle Schülerinnen und Schüler sollen die Chance haben, bis zu sechs Monate im europäischen Ausland zur Schule zu gehen. Für Azubis soll es analog zum Erasmus-Studienaufenthalt die Möglichkeit geben, einen Teil der schulischen Ausbildung einer Partnerschule im europäischen Ausland zu absolvieren. Die Europäische Universität der Zukunft findet vor allem online statt. Denn nur wenn alle digital auf Online-Kurse, Fernstudiengänge, Weiterbildung sowie die Bibliotheken aller europäischen Hochschulen und Universitäten zugreifen können, lebt die europäische Idee in der gesamten Hochschullandschaft und schafft einen echten Mehrwert für alle europäischen Bürgerinnen und Bürger. Wie geil wäre das denn?